Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelvizzle here on YouTube, and today we're going to try zero waste grocery shopping at an Asian store. I'm really excited and nervous for this video because I know the Asian grocery stores have a lot of unpackaged stuff. They also have a lot of packaged stuff, so that makes me a little bit nervous, but the thing that makes me really nervous is that I know they're gonna have vegetables and just produce type stuff that I don't really normally cook. I don't really know how to cook, and I feel like I'm gonna walk in there and have to only use things that are package free and then not know what they are or how to make a meal out of them. But I am excited because I know that the only place historically that I've ever been able to get tofu without packaging is at Asian markets. So that's definitely a zero waste hack. But without further ado, let's get headed over to the Asian market. If you've watched my videos before, you know that before we go into the store, I'm going to show you what I brought to assure that we have a zero waste grocery shop. First things first, items I always bring are my collapsible Chico bags. I have both grocery bags, which is what the orange one is, and produce bags, which is what the green one is. So I brought quite a few of the produce bags because I assume I'm going to be buying a lot of produce. But what is a little different about my supplies today is that I'm hoping we find package-free tofu. So I brought one of my sister's meal prep containers just because I didn't want to carry heavy glass into the store and I also wanted to make sure they could see through it. So I didn't want to bring my stainless steel one. If if they do have package free tofu, which I am hoping that they do, we can put it in this. And something else I brought that I normally never bring because I normally go straight home after grocery shopping, but today I'm not, is this little like uh, insulated bag so it keeps your stuff cold and hot. It's like known as a cotton hot and cold bag, I think too. Uh, this is uh, one of the ones I got from a food delivery service in Austin called Lettuce. They are basically like uh, HelloFresh, but they only have local and sustainably sourced food. So if you live in Austin, you could check that out. I am headed to my brother-in-law's house in Dallas right after this, cause he's having his white coat ceremony for PA school. So let's head into the grocery store. I started my attempt at zero waste grocery shopping at the front door where I was greeted by tons and tons of huge bags of rice. Now this is a different type of bulk when you buy rice in that big of packaging, but that would save you packaging if you don't have option for package free. Then I found these really cool little glass uh, Tupperwares. They did have plastic lids and that weird little plastic insert, but anyway, there were also towers and towers of ramen, which I guess is to be expected, but a little bit higher quality than what you find in traditional like US markets. I do my best to stay as far away from the meat and seafood as I can. They have them in little tanks, they have them on like display. It always makes me sad and it doesn't matter to me if I can get it packaged free or not. I don't want to see it. Then I turned around and they had some little snacks in plastic bags, but it looked like they made it right behind there in the counter. So I was wondering if I could get them to like hand it to me without the bag. I actually had to walk all the way across the store to get to the produce section because that's where I typically start. That's where you will find things package free in almost any grocery store. But I did walk past all the other aisles and glance at them really quickly. But I thought we would go ahead and go through what they did have package free in the produce section. They had fruits and vegetables that I didn't know what they were. That's kind of what I was expecting and a little bit afraid of, but they also had some unpackaged ones that I was familiar with. They also, oh my goodness, they had unpackaged peanuts, which is super, super cool, and I forgot to grab some, but those would go great in any stir fry to add some peanuts, and when you can get them without plastic, that's pretty cool. Also, I found these avocados. I've never seen avocados that look like this before. Please let me know if you have. Are they something special or were they just not ripe yet? Also, American versus Chinese celery, apparently. You know, aside from packaging, something I'm starting to take into consideration more is how far my food had to go to get here. And since some things are labeled like American and Chinese, I wonder how far it had to travel to get here. Not that that is a concern if you're trying to recreate like a cultural dish, but in general, I wonder if these things are coming from far away or not. 
maybe, but there's no tags that are telling me, so I don't know. At this point, I started to get an idea for what they did and didn't have, so I decided to look up a recipe on Ecosia. One of the first things that came up was a stir fry by Minimo's Baker, which I've used many, many times. So I decided to try to follow her recipe and started collecting ingredients that I could get package free. But the produce wasn't the best looking, I will say. It's not exactly what I'm used to, but it will suffice. Now that I've looked at that recipe, I'm noticing things that I need that there is no zero waste option for, like a red bell pepper it calls for. This is the only option. Also, garlic, if it comes in a whole, um, what do you call it, bulb, it's in a plastic net. And if it comes chopped up, it's in a plastic bag. So, uh, what do I do about that? On the surface, it seemed like we were going to be really successful, but to put a whole recipe together is a little bit difficult because like chili red, red chilies, <laughs> it says chili red, but red chilies are in styrofoam and then wrapped in plastic and there's no other option. So mushrooms too, because normally I feel like I see them at Asian stores without packaging, but not at this one. That's the only option. Ah, it's a bummer. Well, since we know we can't follow the recipe, let's just go rogue, pick up some vegetables that don't have packaging, and we're gonna throw it together in a stir fry and hope it comes out good. Okay. So I snatched up all my usuals that didn't have plastic wrapping on the outside of them, and then I was thinking we needed something to make the dish a little bit more hearty, and I found Chinese eggplants. I'm not too familiar with specifically Chinese eggplants, um, but eggplants in general are not my favorite, so I thought if my brother-in-law, who I was going to visit right after this, said it was okay, that I would try it, so I had to call him. When he didn't answer, I headed to the most exciting part of this zero waste grocery shop because I knew it was the only place we were going to be able to get tofu without packaging and also hella cheap. So I just brought these little to-go containers to put the tofu in since it's only 50 cents a piece and not by weight. You don't have to worry about paying for the weight of the container, you're just paying per block. Even though we can't follow Minimalist Baker recipe directly because we can't get some of the ingredients without plastic, I'm gonna try to follow the sauce still. So I'm gonna buy the sauces that she says we need to make the flavor the same. Yes? This aisle is mostly condiments, sauces, and oils. And everything on this aisle is pretty much glass. So that's a good news for creating a meal. We need sesame oil, low sodium soy sauce, fresh grated ginger, organic brown sugar, agave or maple syrup, and cornstarch. Let's get to searching. Other than the sauces we need from here, we need organic sugar. We're not gonna find organic sugar. I don't even know if we're gonna find brown sugar, but let's go see. I see you, sugar. I'm slightly confused at the moment because it says there's sugar on this island. I can't find any. There's sea salt, kosher salt, whatever this stuff is. Is this it, maybe? What is this? Sweetener. Okay, getting closer. Ah, organic. Organic sugar. But it's in plastic. Do we have any paper bags for sugar? 
Uh, okay. They even have organic cane sugar. That's super cool. But not without plastic. Oh, that's so weird because normally, well, not normally, but you know, what I'm used to. You can always find sugar in a paper bag. I mean, I guess we can cheat that one because he probably has sugar at his house, like I would, right? I forgot we also need agave. And I have no idea where that would be. That was the struggle of shopping somewhere you've never really like in-depth grocery shopped before. I don't know where that would be. I could ask someone if I can find someone. I didn't know that was a thing. It's in glass though, with an aluminum lid. <laughs> oh, I thought this might have been agave. It is not. I feel like I'm on the verge. Okay, so now I feel we are where we would need to be if there was going to be agave. There might literally just not be. Back to where this stuff is. Ginger and honey. Oh, I don't think they have it. Crap. I don't want to get honey. I mean, I, I don't feel as strongly about using honey as some like plant-based people do, but... This guy is plastic. I don't need one this big. It's also $8.50. This is a nice jar though. I would reuse this for sure if I got it. That one's plastic and that one's plastic. Wait, is this? No, yep, that's plastic too. So even if I was gonna overlook the fact that it's honey, this would be my only option. I mean, and the thing about this is you can't tell if the bees are treated ethically just by looking at this. Like I'd have to do research. Cameron is calling me back. So you know how I told you I was trying to do the zero waste grocery shopping at the Asian market on my way to your house? Okay, well, they don't have a lot of stuff here without packaging like I thought they would. They have tofu without packaging. Um, but I'm running low on vegetables to add into a stir fry. Do, and basically my question is, do you like eggplant? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Uh-huh. So I should get the eggplant? Yeah. <laughs> I think I could eat it. I mean, I tried um, something else the other day that I'd never had before, so it did. that was tasty. Okay. All right. Cool, yeah. Anything yeah. Um, well, I don't know if I'm going to make it to your house when I thought I was, just because it's taking me longer than I expected here, but... No, it's, fi it's fine if you're later. It just didn't know... Don't be early. Well, like, yeah. Because <laughs> okay. I want to go to open lab, so... Okay. All right. Sounds good. Bye. Bye. All right. I think we've gotten all the ingredients from the recipe that we're gonna find, unfortunately. But I want to see, look around the snacks and see if I can find anything that's not just wrapped in plastic. Uh, just as a fun little experiment to see if there's anything. So let's do that. Honestly, I realized that finding a snack in all of this without plastic would be like trying to trying to find a needle in a haystack. There's just a ton of plastic and then probably if you were to find the one thing that didn't have plastic, I guarantee you it would not be vegan. So it didn't take me long just walking up and down these shelves doing the shake test to realize I, there was no luck. There was no luck for me here. So then I tried my luck with these instead. Oh, I don't think, I mean that sounds like it's pretty free in there, but of course there's this. Okay. What about this one? No one doesn't have that. Oh yeah, it does. Stickers and plastic things. But I mean it's minimal, right? Definitely less. What's this one? This is also plastic wrap, but that's like a cardboard box. But there's sachets in there, I think. I think we'll get this one. Sounds good. Green tea. Oh, look, this one. I could try to open it. Hold on. Ah, plastic bag. You've been exposed. I mean, but is that less plastic than normal? This container is really cool, but not zero waste. The amount of wontons and dumplings here is truly amazing. 
I bet you could find some really good ones in here. They always have veggie ones like those right there. Those are veggie. I can just never get them to cook right. I will say this was the most out of my comfort zone when coming into this, like filming, because I thought people might think I'm trying to be just like a jerk coming in here and filming things that are different. But I've actually shopped at Asian grocery stores before. Not often, but regularly. And it turns out this is the least busy place and it's the easiest to film in so far. I was just about to leave and admit defeat until I came down the Chinese snacks and powder aisle and found palm sugar? coconut sugar, other sugar, so sugar is in more than one place. Now I'm hoping I can find agave, kinda. Let me show you. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Cool. I definitely Oh my goodness, I have to put my hair up, you guys. It is so hot! Now I'm in the car, I'm about to head to my brother-in-law's house, like I said, that's why I have that insulated bag with me today. When I get there, I'll do a regular haul with you guys, showing you everything I got, but we gotta get there before rush hour hits, so let's get going. Made it through the Dallas traffic to Cameron's apartment. Do you guys remember Cameron at all from the Zero Waste Transformation series? He's been in something else too. Say hi. More than a few things. Hello. <laughs> uh, my that's my sister's husband. Some of you are confused about why she lives with me if she's married, and it's because they both got in PA schools in different cities. So Brittany got in in San Antonio, Cameron got in in Dallas. So Brittany lives with me, and Cameron lives alone. It's kind of a shitty situation, but that is what it is. Okay, anyway, let me show you what I ended up getting. I think what I realized on my way over here is I forgot to get the eggplant. <laughs> After calling him and doing all that, I'm pretty sure That's, there's not eggplant in here. No but way. let's look. There might I might have remembered. I know a lot of you were looking forward to this video because I was able to get tofu without packaging. I stole one of Brittany's food prep containers and put the tofu in it directly myself. So I got two blocks. We'll have to remember to press this because it is pretty soft, but I think it'll be good stir fried Why later. Why do they have that in the store? Uh, just in like a tub of ice. Interesting. Yeah, I have a, it's in the video. Anyway, so this was a huge success. This is why I was really looking forward to going to the Asian market because even if you don't do all of your grocery shopping at the Asian market, which is kind of the intent of the experiment of this series, you can still go to your Asian market and get tofu without packaging, which I think is a valuable lesson in and of itself from this video. So keep that in mind. Then you might have heard the checker lady say that she was uh, encouraging me to use my own bags. The reason I said I brought my own bags, is that okay when I walk up to the counter is actually when I normally shop at the Asian store, I won't put put them in these bags and then they'll put each thing I bought in a plastic bag. So that's why I asked her and she seemed more than enthusiastic about it. So I think I just got a really good lady that time. But in this bag I have broccoli. In this bag I have carrots. We have onion, celery, and green onions. And that's all I got for the produce because you guys saw the produce section was not that great, honestly. I mean it wasn't bad, I don't know. Like we could, there was no garlic without plastic talking to Cameron, <laughs> there was no um, chilies or peppers without plastic. So that's kind of a letdown. And I also couldn't find any cornstarch, any sugar without plastic, any agave. So all those things we're gonna kind of have to cheat if we stick to the recipe. But I think we can use what we got 
and make something good anyway. You'll probably find that out on my newsletter. If you're not subscribed to my newsletter, I think what I'm gonna do is cook all of this and then me and Cameron will have a mukbang. We'll film that for my newsletter where my secret videos get sent out. So if you're not already on my newsletter, it'll be linked in the description for you to check out. Then I got this. This was the only sugar that wasn't in plastic there. And I don't know what it is. So we're gonna uh -huh. open it right now and find out. It says yellow rock sugar. I've never seen anything like this before, but it doesn't sound like there's plastic in there. So that's why I got it. We're about to find out. This could have been totally pointless. And then I guess I can Google what it is later and see if we can even use it for what. I swear it sounded like there was plastic in there. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. Ugh, damn it. I swear I shook it and it literally sounded like there was no plastic in there. I have to put that in a blender in order to make it go in my coffee. Yeah, I don't even know what this is. If you know what this is, comment below, but I'll also probably Google it and figure out. Like if it's made from something special or what. I don't know, if you know what it is, let me know. Maybe it's good for Asian cooking and we'll use it and we'll love it. Ju, last two things are just your most basic necessities you need when you're cooking Asian food and that is soy sauce and sesame oil. You have to fry things in sesame oil. You always need soy sauce. So of course they're both glass packages and I can reuse both of these. I already have plans for both of them so that's really good. Sometimes I buy things in glass and I don't have a plan for what I'll reuse them for and that kind of sucks buying glass and just intending to immediately recycle it. It's not my favorite thing but it is what it is. Alrighty guys, so I really hope you enjoyed going to the Asian grocery store with me, seeing what we got. Like I said, if you want to see the meal that I end up making with this, make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter where I send out secret videos and my next video will probably be me cooking and eating what I made. Also, don't forget to let me know what grocery store you want to see me try next. I always do these based on your recommendations and the most requested places. Although HEB is very high up there on the list, I know a lot of you want to see me do HEB, but I'm trying to do things that are more accessible to more people than just those of us who live in Texas. Also, disclaimer, last time I said I'm sorry for people who live in East Texas that don't have HEBs. I realize Houston is East Texas, but also so is Dallas and they don't have HEBs, and that's a really sad life. Right? You don't have HEB. Yeah. There. That's yeah. So I can't imagine living without HEB. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye, guys. <laughs>